interesting, though, I must say, uh, along with the Martin Luther locations, there were Adolf Hitler locations because they kind of were in the same lo spots and, and spoke in the same locations. Uh, we did go to the birthplace of Adolf Hitler, which is Braunau in uh, Austria, and uh, where he grew up uh, in Linz, Austria. Um, but you know, uh, unfortunately, in both Germany and Austria, there is a rise now of Nazi sentiments. And that is because the people there are very much against all the Muslims uh, moving in uh, from, from Turkey and other locations. They consider it to be uh, almost an act of war by the Islamic people against the people of Europe. And remember, historically, these areas were invaded by the Ottoman Empire hundreds of years ago, as well as the Mongols a couple of times. So that energy, that memory is embedded um, in their cellular structure, and they are very much against uh, the uh, Muslim people moving into this area of Europe. Uh, and I was told that if you go to Braunau for a seminar, you're automatically assumed to be a Nazi supporter. That's how powerful it is in those countries now. So something to keep in mind, and I was also told by Austrians that not to be surprised if such a thing even happens in North America, because they feel that that sentiment of nationalism and unfortunately racism is coming to the surface again. A Norway court dismisses a judge in Anders Bering Breivik's trial over a concerning Facebook comment. Thomas Indreba was one of three civilian members of the five-judge tribunal hearing the case against Breivik for a mass shooting and bombing last summer. Both the prosecution and defense asked that he be dismissed over a Facebook comment made last July that the death penalty is the only just outcome of this case. A survivor of the shooting that killed 69 people at an island summer camp said he doesn't blame the lay judge. Uh, I, I don't hold it against him. It was an emotional time for everyone and, and um, of course he probably could never have guessed that he would actually be judged in the trial. The leader of a support group related to the attacks also agreed with the move. I think this was the right thing to do because everyone in court was concerned that he was no longer qualified to make a decision. Brevik has admitted to the attacks but pleaded not guilty. He faces a jail sentence of up to 21 years but could be held indefinitely if he is considered a continued danger. Lindsay Perietti, Reuters. Uh, stop massive immigration as if the immigrants would come like black boots like like walking over their Swiss flag it's completely you know it, it looks like Nazis the boots they are you know no immigrants walk like this you know they walk carefully you know not like that the Swiss walk like that they're Nazis so this is Swiss neutrality, eh? Well, they never were. And here is the biggest Nazi party in Europe, the SVP, in French is UDC. And uh, they're the biggest in the world, probably. I mean, they finance Adolf Hitler, what do you think? And these ones here, they don't do a thing. Only if you open your mouth, like I do, then they come with an and anti-terrorist police they do, like they did with me on the on May 30th this year. Goodness, I'm a keeper of the oath. Oh man, look at it. You know, uh, he must be an immigrant seeing the sign. Oh man, oh, oh he sees it, look at it. Oh. And if they're up to doing things like this, all in the open, then we all know that behind the screens, there's lots of other things happening and going on, like terrorizing people, murdering people through O2T torture in prisons. And, well, they always hide things, like they do with their banks and all that. Uh, these, are the, these are the people of the hidden ways. You know, I mean, look at them, look, 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 look at them. Look how they're looking, look, look, oh, you see that? That's why I'm hiding. <laughs> Hello everyone, 
Welcome to Global Government News. Today is a very, very special day. It's April 20th, 2012, and I'm Darko. It's Adolf Hitler's birthday. Happy birthday, our Fuhrer. And, um, you know, it's kind of weird the way it all happened because those videos that you saw and some news I'm going to get to, it all just kind of just... It, it kind of just came, really. There was just stuff in the headlines with Breivik and with what I'm going to get to. So it all just, whether it's coincidence or not, that's the news flow. But uh, yeah, so today is uh, April 20th. And uh, my website is ggnonline.com. And on YouTube, it's ddarko2012, ddarko2013. So Switzerland to cut work permit quota to eight EU states. So you saw that uh, video um uh, right there, of uh, these little uh, boots walking over there talking about immigration. So this is not a joke. And you heard what Swordlow was saying uh, after he had just come back from Europe uh, in Austria and Germany. Uh, Germany. So uh, it says here the Swiss government has uh, planned to reimpose immigration quotas on eight European Union countries as it faces domestic criticism of high rate of immigration. They will cut permits to countries like Poland, Hungary, Czech Republic, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, basically post-Soviet uh, bloc countries. And it goes on here and it says that the justice minister says that they're not afraid, but rather it is sensitive to the fears and concerns of the people. With unemployment rate as low as 3%, Switzerland has recently seen a surge of immigration workers. So, see, they're going to take care of their own country, you know, uh, basically Switzerland, a neutral country, uh, helps la uh, launder money and stuff uh, between the powers that be. But, uh, you know, other countries in Europe, uh, oh no, right? So, and especially here in the United States and other places. Okay, so next we have swastika on the ballot. American Nazi Party gets its first lobbyist. You've probably already heard this, but it's just tying in with this other news articles. So it says the American Nazi Party has its first lobbyist in Washington, according to reports. John Bowles had registered with the House and Senate offices as a representative of the ANP, according to disclosure records. Bowles was a presidential candidate in 2008 for the National Socialist Movement, according to U.S. News and World Report. German woman supporting Breivik deported to Germany. So a German woman expressing support for the anti-Islam terrorist Anders Bering Breivik has been deported from Norway, police official says. They also said police have identified a group of roughly 10 suspected far-right extremists and a known former neo-Nazi outside the courthouse since the beginning of the trial on Monday. Breivik intends to plead not guilty, arguing the attacks were a political act designed to prevent what he described as a Muslim invasion of Europe. And we have Islam, not part of German society, says a conservative German lawmaker, April 19th. Again, I mean, if you look at all these dates, they're all pretty much within the same uh, time frame. A leading member of the German parliament's conservative bloc and ally of Chancellor Merkel says Islam is not part of the German society. It's not part of our tradition and identity in Germany, and so it does not, does not belong in Germany. The remarks come at a time when Germany is holding a conference on the integration of of the 4 million Muslims living in the Germany where Islamophobia is on the rise. Two years ago, anger erupted over a book by Germany's foreign senator of finance, uh, Philo Sarazin, who argued that Turkish and Arab immigrants threatened the German culture. From April 19, 2012, right-wing French leader jokes that Sarkozy has the same initials as Nazi party. Goes on and it says, he bears the same initials as the National Socialist Party, quipped Jean-Marie Le Pen, a right-wing French politician. He then made light of his statement and half-apologized, explained that Sarkozy's campaign rally earlier this week made him think of Nuremberg, a significant city in Nazi Germany that often held massive rallies. Baboons can distinguish between words and gibberish, study finds from April 12th. Then moving on, we have Breivik whitewash begins in Norway, Murdoch's hand seen. So there are some that are um, theorizing that Breivik is actually working for the powers that be, that he is a Zionist. Uh, you saw him when he did that little, what looked or appeared to be a Nazi salute in the courtroom. Nobody really looked twice at it, uh, but it wasn't a, a full salute. What was it? It was kind of a fist, which was kind of weird. But uh, either way, he's saying it's the last step of an official cover-up uh, in motion. The children, victims of the Holocaust, were 
selected because of political ties to foes of Israel as admitted by the killer. says, however, the real story began not just with suspected police complicity and the mysterious world travels of Breivik, but with the cover-up starting with the Murdoch operation, the Wall Street Journal, the Star, or even the Norway station. Right here, you can go in there and check that out. But it goes on and says, Breivik, Norwegian, sometimes British, sometimes a Pole, most likely an Israeli, is on trial for a variety of crimes. The criminals themselves, and there are dozens at least, have left this MK Ultra reject to take the blame. So I'm going to keep moving, but... Uh, yeah, so you have this. Norway mass killer Breivik claims he had an English mentor, mentor, or you can put it handler. And there's many uh, just weird inconsistencies with this individual. And a vision that Hitler himself actually had was what? Um, uh, basically president of Europe. Ministers of the EU ponder creation of European Union super president or uber president. So it says that this individual would have more power than either uh, Ram Pui or Barroso who both, I believe, weren't elected by the people, but also more democratic legitimacy. Officials are studying the futurology of EU Parliament by saying other aspects of today's world are a greater challenge. Discussions and decisions are more often being taken in multilateral arenas, such as the G8 or G20 groups of industrialized countries, and it raises questions about democratic oversight. It goes on and it says that the EU challenge comes under scrutiny when it's increasingly fretful about the role of the European Council and the forum for EU leaders to make decisions. But it says here, by while the multipolar nature of global relations is forcing a parliament to change, so too is a greater power of Brussels over the national economic decisions and the parliament's recent boost in the lawmaking powers. And as Barroso talks about how austerity measures may kill states and the European Union, Italian Museum burns art to protest austerity cuts. Then we have food stamps rolls to grow through 2014. Congressional Budget Office says for the United States, 45 million people in 2011 receive, uh, it says here, nutrition assistance program benefits, a 70% increase from 2007. We have hard-pressed families are spending more on filling the petrol tank or gas tank than their weekly food shop price. So we know economic warfare is uh, being carried out on people in that um, raising uh, oil prices or gas prices can uh, hinder their travel. And ultimately, they don't want people in cars traveling independently anymore. They want them on public transportation. So with fuel prices rocketing to record levels, more drivers are being forced to scrimp on other household necessities so they can afford to get where they need to be. And here's a little trick that I learned while I worked at a grocery store, a couple grocery stores, supermarket shrink ray, how shoppers are paying the same for even smaller products. It's similar to actually working the same amount or longer or harder for less. We have Brussels expecting thousands of small Greek businesses to close. Up next, we have European unemployment rate on a record high. According to a report published in a German newspaper, the number of employed people in Europe has never been higher than in 2012. Euro is on the brink of collapse, says the International Monetary Fund, as Lord Hasseltine says the UK will join the Euro if it survives. He's a pro-European politician. Next up, we have Britain's bailout. Bill could hit $40 billion as Osborne agrees to hand IMF another $10 billion of our cash amid Eurozone crisis. The IMF sees optimism return as faster growth is predicted, and that's good because optimism reduces risk of cardiovascular disease, says Harvard. Also, no regrets. Old people who learn not to linger on how much they've been screwed in their entire lives have been happier and been able to cope better with stress. That's right, folks. Don't try to pass on some wisdom to your grandparents telling them what to avoid. You know, we should have never passed that Federal Reserve Act of 1913. You know, we never should have went into Vietnam. That that may have been just about the last generation of, you know, good men. But according to this, it's best to let them go. And as your futures are going down to the toilet and the peasants are running out of bread, let them eat cake or let them eat bacon ice cream sundaes or a hot dog stuffed pizza crust. And it may have been healthier to eat cake because this stuff that's uh, making this meat ammonium hydroxide is a serious threat to your health. Commonly sold as window cleaner, floor cleaner, wood polish. But the FDA says they regard it as safe, so everything's okay. Then we have Food Safety Agency admits ethical faults and regrets it did not act or react to one of its former managers going to work for a biotechnology company. That makes sense because a lot of your food now is what? Nanotechnology, food coming to a fridge nor near you. So synthetic food and even poop. 
Japan's scientist synthesizes meat from human feces. And a new federal agency, OFR, stirs Orwellian fears. It's called the Office of Financial Research. It'll be directly funded from the Federal Reserve. Directors are calling it the CIA of financial regulator. And as spying on financial transactions increases by half, EU will send airline passenger data to the United States. This is GGN, and I'm Darko. Thank you.